Hello my friends, and welcome back. In today's Komorebi tutorial video, I'm going to be talking about how you can get rid of all of the gaps. All of the workspace gaps, all of the gaps between different windows, just all of the gaps. I personally am quite a big fan of the gaps, but I know that there are some people with very very strong anti-gap feelings. So this one is for all of you. Uh, luckily there is um, there is a default setting that you can set in Komorebi. Uh, there are two actually. One is for the workspace padding and one is for the container padding. And you can set these both to zero in the configuration file. So let's go ahead and open that up. Uh, let's bring this over to workspace number two. Get rid of the pop-ups. So uh, here we have these two options. So I'm gonna set this to zero. I'm gonna set this to zero and I'm gonna hit save. Now these two options do not apply on the fly. Because it is a, a default setting, it only applies uh, when uh, a workspace is being created. So for our use case, that means that we just need to do a quick Komorebc stop and Komorebc start. And you know, you're only going to have to do this once uh, because <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure the people who don't want gaps are never going to turn the gaps back on. Uh, so here we are. We have no gaps between our windows. How nice. How nice for those of us who do not like gaps. Uh, and this is going to be the same on any workspace. So if I move Visual Studio Code to Workspace 2, there are no gaps. Um, if I open up another Visual Studio code window, another one, no gaps. Absolute minimal gapage. Uh, and that's that's all there is to it. Uh, so if uh, if you were put off by the gaps in the quick start or the other tutorial videos or in any images that you've seen, uh, including probably this one on. Uh, on the github page fear not you can you can remove the gaps uh, all hope is not lost the gaps can be removed uh, if you have any issues anything you want to discuss uh, of course you can always leave a comment on this youtube video which you absolutely should also leave a like also subscribe to the channel uh, but you can uh, open an issue if you need to we also have GitHub discussions enabled on the repo, and we have a very active and helpful community on Discord that you are welcome to join. Uh, if you are a fan of this project, if you use it every day, if you love it, please do consider becoming a sponsor. You can head on over to the GitHub sponsors page and become either a one-time sponsor a monthly sponsor and honestly even if it's just a dollar a month it makes a huge difference to me that was all i wanted to talk about so my friends i hope that whatever you all do today you have a great great day free palestine and i'll see you all back here next time